Hello YouTube and welcome to my 7th HTML tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite things to do with web design. Now if and when you watched my 5th and 6th tutorial when I showed you how to create forms and I showed you my example there was the word sign up scrolling across the top of the screen back and forth. That's basically what I'm going to be showing you. So let's create an entirely new document. Open up notepad. And as usual, I need to fill in all the basic tags. Okay, and I also made the, I just did a quick preview over background color and text color. Um, again, I'm going for the matrix theme with the black background and the green text. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, this actually works for any text, but I think it has a bigger effect if you use it on a heading one. So I'm going to make a heading one and type in, let's see, the first one I'm going to make is called alternating text, and which is what my other one was, where it starts at one screen, goes over to the side, basically bounces off and goes back and forth and just keeps bouncing. Okay, so I'm going to put alternating text and heading one. And then I'm going to do other ones like scrolling and ones like that. Okay, so we need to go inside of our heading one tag and create a tag called Marque. Spelled like that. M-A-R-Q-U-E-E. -E, Marque, Marque, however you want to pronounce it. And actually, let's create the end Marque. And if you notice, you can't have this tag, then that, then heading one, then mark where you have to have it in this order. Or the mark read tag can be outside of the heading, but they have to be nested within each other. So that and that have to be inside that, or vice versa. Okay, so now we need to create some attributes inside of our mark read tag. First one we put is behavior. This is where we specify what you want us to do. We can either do alternate, or scroll, or there's, there's another few ones we can do, but I'm just going to show you alternate for right now. And then we need to specify the direction. This can be up, right, down, or left. And in this case I'm going to do right. If we do right, it's going to start at the left and go to the right, and vice versa for all four directions. Now we need to specify loop. This is how many times you want it to repeat itself. If we put one, it's going to go down, bounce, bounce back off, and then stop. Put two, it'll do that twice, and so on. If we want infinite, we put negative one. I'm not exactly sure why it's negative one, but it is. Okay, so now we've ended the markway tag. Again, it's behavior equals alternate, direction equals right, or whatever direction. Loop equals how many times you want it to loop, and negative one for infinite. So now I'm going to actually show this to you to the desktop and call it website 7.html oh and I also figured that it was for I think Windows 3 and um, DOS I think those are the main operating systems where it doesn't recognize four letter file extensions in that case use .htm but it recognizes it here so I'm doing .html so let's save it minimize this and here it is. And here is our alternating text. As you can see, it goes down to this side. And then once it gets to the end, it bounces off and continues back to the other side. And it just keeps doing that. That's why you specify the loop is negative one for infinite. So now I'm going to show you how to make scrolling text. Okay, so basically, we're just going to do this all over again. But we just need to change two things. One is the value in our behavior attribute. This needs to be scroll. And then instead of the heading one saying alternating text, we're obviously going to make it say scrolling text. So let's save and minimize. OK, and then we refresh it. And here we have scrolling text. And we'll just watch it all the way to the end just so I can show you it scrolls. Also the value of negative one for a loop, infinite, and it goes off the side of the screen and it comes back. 
Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to change the speed at which it scrolls or alternates. So now I'm going to copy and paste both of these. And I'm going to change these to heading 2. Okay. The attribute for this is... Actually, hold on. Let me put a line break here so I can separate these two. Okay. The attribute for this is scroll amount. Just like that. No spaces. Equals. Now... The default for the, for the speed is 6. That's basically what you were just seeing in the website. And you can make this pretty much whatever you want. So I'm going to make this 10 and change this to speed 100. So we, I mean, sorry, speed 10. And then go down here and scroll amount equals let's put 20 and then so we can recognize this let's put did I just delete that? sorry um speed of 20 so we can recognize that and also I'm going to change this to alternate as well just so we can see them side by side and let's save it and minimize and when we refresh it speed of 10 speed of 20 obviously that is going a lot faster okay so another really cool thing you can do is you can have a picture scroll back and forth across the screen so let's create another line break again create the markway tag actually yeah the markway tag Okay, so now is when we type in the IMG image source, and you have to make sure this is inside of your markway tag, equals, now again, this is when we bring up run, so I'll show you how to do that, again. Okay, so here's run, remember to click browse, you should already have a picture somewhere that you want. I've got one on the desktop, I'm going to use that Neo picture again, just because obviously I do like the matrix, so there... Oh, this is, remember, this is on programs. Yeah, this comes up by default as programs. A picture is not a program, so click all files. Then we scroll, and there he is. And here's the code you want. So, well, not code, but your path specified, so copy it. You can also exit out. And in between the quotations, we click paste. End the image. And then end... Markway. Oops, that is not how you spell Markway. Then end that. Now we save it and minimize. Okay, here's this. And F5, refresh. And now we have our entire picture scrolling back and forth across the screen. Now there are some cases where this can annoy your visitors or possibly make it even more attractive. This all depends. Okay, so... And remember that you're not limited to any of the things that I've shown you above. For instance, you don't have to do right. You can do up or down or left or whatever you want. Any combination. You don't even have to use infinite. You can make it scroll once and then stop. You can do whatever you want. And now, for the um, scrolling up and down, it basically just goes up or, or down like half the screen and scrolls back up or scrolls back around or whatever it is so it's not like it goes all the way down your web page because that could get kind of annoying but I was also going to show you another attribute called scroll delay that's basically another way to affect speed basically scroll delay the attribute scroll delay equals and then quotations you put a number and this is how many milliseconds is going to be delayed between each frame movement so right when it starts, it'll wait however many milliseconds, move over one pixel, wait however many, however many milliseconds, move over again. This is basically to get a more accurate speed that you want, but I just use scroll amount. But scroll delay, y you can use that too, so yeah. And, oh, I guess I didn't run out of time too quickly. 
But anyways, use Markway as much as you want to to attract more visitors, but just don't use it too much. You can also use it on paragraph text, but don't have whole paragraph moving back and forth. Just use like sentences. But anyways, this is Bryce Fritzl, and this has been HTML Tutorial Part 7.